let's open up we've already got that window open so let's go ahead and open up the dice window so here are our, our heroes right here and you witness the guy the invisible dude disappearing behind this fence here and making his way along the riverbank okay so and how, what how are we gonna do I, I just want to know well first off I'm gonna you know points and shout behind me to uh, Piper and Aria yeah hey that uh, I'm, I'm I see really something good. and we're chasing and then I'm just gonna start chase following All right, I, so I you... do want to know how steep the riverbed is like from the fence like is it really steep or no not no steep it, it's it's not a particularly steep incline it, it kind of goes down to that little beachy area here I mean understand if you look at the scale of this that's quite a quite a big gap between the fence and the river there Okay. So it's a good cool. 20, 20, you know, good 20, 30 feet. Okay, so you're going to bust your way, ignore the scale on this map, because it's going to be know, out. I just like bugging. It's going to be way out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, you're going to bust through the crowd, push your way through um, in an attempt to make it to there. Okay, so um, who's leading that charge? Who's pushing? Probably Vess. Okay, Vesslar, so you're the one that's barging through the crowd. So let's see how efficiently you're doing that. Um, do you wish to do? You wish to employ any skills or just pure brute force? Um, I don't really have any skills, so pure brute you force. You know how to read, right? <laughs> yes, because reading helps me barge through crowds. <laughs> it's a skill. I use my eyes he and I skillfully out his scroll of crowd dispersal. <laughs> yes. No, I'm using brute force, so. All right, then give me a strength check with your strength modifier behind it. No, I, I see. I rolled a fifteen on my dice in my room, but I guess I have to really. Yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah. See, see, yeah. I rolled a fifteen. <laughs> what was it All they were right. telling you to do today? To do the water test on the roll twenty dice. I saw that. I, I still think you should tip a bucket of water into your laptop and see if it works. Just saying. All right, well, as you attempt to bustle your way through the crowd, pushing here, shoving there, they're so tightly packed in. Um, you know, the guards have all got them kind of crammed into a small area, so it's not easy pushing your way through. You do eventually, of course, succeed. But by the time you get to here, um, the little invisible fellow has quite the distance on you. Um, he is probably about 100 to 120 feet ahead. Uh, I'm Jason. I. If anything, I'm going to get in range to shoot my bow at him. My, my bolts. Your crossbow. Okay, what about you ladies? Do you wish to do anything different, or are you just going to continue to give chase? Uh, we can't see this thing, right? Nope. You're basically following a crazed Veslar. <laughs> I shall follow. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it doesn't do you a lot of good to get in front, well. really, if you don't know where you're going, I guess. So, um, alrighty. You continue to follow. Um, after, let's go ahead and make a dexterity check with Veslar and his quarry. Alright. And we'll see if he can close up on this guy. Let me move the dice pane down a little bit so everyone can see. Hey, it's an eight. Yeah, you suck even almost as bad. Okay. Well, it's the sand, man. You know, doing great. Like, Right, I'm he is, trying to run in his footsteps and it's Okay, he is continuing to get a little further ahead of you. However, um, he kind of stops at one point, turns around. You see him raise his hands as if he's about to do something. Ooh. Like, there's nothing in his hands. Ooh. It's like just a... And then he shakes his head and turns and continues to run. Like, he was about to do something arcane maybe, but thought better of it. Uh, um, did I, I gain any dis oh um, go ahead, Jane. so yeah what do you guys want to do wait I'm not seeing this correct nope n only Vestlar is seeing this then never mind do we see, I don't want do we see his footprints um if you want to make a successful track roll if you're paying sure. that much attention but it'll slow you down just now, wondering no, 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 uh, no. he's not just running chasing. along the sand if he was okay. I would have said yes he's running along okay. the grass so okay and how far away is he since he stopped? Um, and I was still running. Probably about a hundred feet now. Okay, I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna shoot while I run. I mean, I'm try. Okay. My, thump, thump, um, so. So you're gonna fire two erratic shots in his general direction. Yes. I. Right, um. You can do so with a minus six on each. Oh right, minus six. Nice. 
First one. Da, da. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> okay, the first I bolt goes fun. buzzing past him, kind of... A terrible human With only image. about a degree to two degrees angle elevation incorrect, it still misses him by about 20 degrees because of the distance. Yeah, this is going to be a bland, uh, just a... Uh, oh. Nope. And the second one is no better. Okay, you, as you run, bouncing up and down, clunk, clunk, both of the bolts go flying through the air, and you realize that this really isn't such a great plan. Um, one of them will hit, man, all right? Eventually, but, maybe. You've got, what, two more three rounds? Left. Yeah. I got three, three left, yeah. <laughs> three, yeah, so up. Uh, <laughs> it's the new drawstring that the fucking guy made. He, he changed my bow. Uh, so he's it's... changed the configuration. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting used to the new, like, counterbalancing and stuff. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I'm right, still chasing. Um, I don't, I'm not stopping. Okay, he is continuing to extend his back to about 120 feet. Ahead of you. Are you firing again? Yeah, this is like the max range, so I should probably I'd probably only get like one, right? Um, no, I mean, you can my, still my... fire two, but you're all right. Fifteen. Okay, <laughs> Six. Jesus the Christ. fifteen one thudded like right behind his left foot as he ran, like if you'd have been just a half an inch up. So it was really close, but the last one was way off. Screw this. Uh... Uh... Yeah, I'm persevering. And he's at about a hundred and he's at about a hundred and thirty feet now. Oh, wait. Yeah, now I'm out of my range. Uh, so I'm just going to not fire and just run with all my might. Okay. Right. Um, you notice that this vessel up here is slowly moving into the edge. Like you suddenly realize that maybe that's what he's running for. It looks like the ship is like was up there waiting for him, and he's running to it. So by now you guys are here. Oh, let's not move the boat. Let's move the you. <laughs> okay, so you guys are here, and he is kind of right here, still charging away towards the boat. Okay. Huh. I'm gonna shout stop and still chase. I mean, I'm still far. He's still out of my range. <clears throat> How okay. far away? Are... Hmm. Um, he's about 130 I'm feet. Hold on. Your your cry Check. of your cry of stop. Yields no response from the man <laughs> as he continues Ooh. to run. I Ooh. forgot to say, stop, Ooh, you hey, dick. Hey, you hey. Know. My hold person spell is 100 feet plus 10 feet per level. Which is 170 feet, yes. Wow! <laughs> the problem is, you have no target. You I can't know. see what you're shooting at, so you can't uh, cast it. Best lar. <laughs> There's How a invisible. Detect, no, detect magic is too far away from it. <gasps> yep. Am I gaining any ground on this motherfucker? No, he's gaining. He's he's pulling away about ten feet per round. Can I like try jumping over rocks and something to close the distance? Because um, well, it's that really might fail nothing. You having but... to really jump over. It's just he's quicker say, than you. I would say uh... it's impossible, man. <laughs> you're bogged <laughs> down in armor. Pit, I mean, your armor your is lasso. fairly light, but um, he's just yeah, he's just faster than you. He's just, just outlegging you. Do we have a um? Grappling hook we could throw at the boat so we can catch on to it. I do not. Well, I'm going to shout. I'm going to shout. He's going for the boat because we all see the boat at this point. Yeah. So. Right. Okay, so now, now we can all sprint for the boat okay. because we know right. this. Okay, so if that's the case, um, you, Aria, and you, Piper, can make some dex checks to see how quickly you might be able to leave Veslar here in the dust and try Veslar to gain ground. Veslar in the dust. <laughs> Absolutely, let's do Ooh, it. Dust. Dexterity check A. Oh, my oh God. there's a way to start. Wow. There we go. <laughs> this is almost unfair. Natural 20. <laughs> Ar wow. Arya Piper sees a boat and she wants to go sailing. Like, we're working here, woman. That, let's see. Oh, that was Piper. I was about to give that to Jane, actually. Oh, I'll um, take it. I'll take it. <laughs> I was queuing it up for the wrong person. Okay. Now... With a target in mind, Piper puts her feet underneath her and just suddenly starts sprinting like wildfire. The old military charge kicks in as she bolts past Veslar and leaves Veslar and Arya in the dust. Okay, um, so Veslar, you can see that she is gaining on the guy at about, probably about as much distance as he was leaving you. She's gaining about 20 feet, so it's going to take her about five rounds to catch him. Okay. Um, but she is catching him. Uh, okay. But she can't see him. 
so. No, but she but she knows that he's going for the boat, so logically I'm assuming Piper's going for the boat, right? I am. There you go. Okay. Well, he continues to run. You continue to run as you flee, 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 flee. Okay. Um, by the time he gets to the boat, um, Piper is only 30 feet behind him. Nice. Seeing that she is so close as he begins to get onto the boat and realizing we've got to push the boat off, we've got to get the boat away from this. You know, he, he pretty much has figured out at this point she's going to get to the boat before they get it far enough on the river. So he makes a decision and he breaks his invisibility. So suddenly you see what appears to be a middle aged man wearing um, blue tight fitting clothes. <laughs> uh, he's got kind of like a little bit of a overly swirly waxed mustache. Um, <laughs> and he immediately, like seeing you get closer, he starts waving his fingers around. Ooh. And well, I'm gonna do spellcraft. That's for sure. Uh, go ahead. No, I want to do something. Hey! Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Useless man. That's only the time you rolled twenty. Just wanna, like, really <laughs> oh ask. my god! So okay. I expertly know what the hell so he's stupid. doing. <laughs> right. Yes, he is about to cast what you would assume to be a hold person spell. Okay. I'm gonna say. Hold person, Pip! Okay. I'm just saying Pip because Piper's too long to say and I'm shouting it. <laughs> Is this something and I'm I breathless. can counter song? Nope. No? I no, counter song only works against sonic okay. attacks and stuff like that. Alright, so let's go ahead and get your initiatives out of the way. because it. Do I hear Veslar? Um, probably. He shouted it, so he's not that far behind you. Ten. Yeah. Veslar on ten. Hyper on a very nice 21. And Aria, yours was 20? Yes. Alright, let me roll for him. He's gonna be here. Okay, right. Um, because you won initiative and you are actually faster than him. You basically will arrive like right up close to him before, like literally, as he's about to cast a spell. So, Piper, you will actually get to act. Do I see anybody else on the boat? Um, looks like there's about two other people that you can see. Okay. However, they don't look. They're not like. There's nothing special looking about them. They 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 look pretty much like river merchants or sailors. Nothing, you know. There's nothing glamorous or aura-ish about them. They're not carrying big swords or crossbows or anything. They're just like pulling up sails and like, come on, hurry up, hurry up. All right. Um, so I can, I'm guessing I'll be able to dodge the spell if he gets it off. Uh, you can't dodge it. If he gets it off, you'll have to save against it. Okay. Um, so I'm going to basically yell at him like, stop, you are wanted in questioning of the incident down there. <laughs> All righty. Um, with that line of demand, he casts his whole person spell. So you will have to make a willpower saving throw. Um, based on his level, you're going to need a 24. 21? Oh, close. close. Okay. You, you blurt that out and you're like, Zah! and she's held in place. Am I okay. on the boat? No, you're like, right. You were, you were heading right at the boat. Okay. Okay. He, he yeah. clambers on and he says, and this is kind of important. Now, bear it in mind, Piper, you can hear, you just can't okay. act. You hear him say, as he gets on the boat, you hear him say, like, one of the guys says to him, What about the other two? Just, you can kill them. We know you can. He says, We're not here to kill anybody. He said, We had to do this. There's no, because there, there was no choice. He said, But I have no intentions of harming anybody in, that's innocent. Now let's just get on this boat and get going. Get down the river as quick as we can. Right, you two at this point are closing the gap. Um, they're pushing the boat off. Can I get a, my final shot off? Uh, as yep, I'm... you sure can. Is it still minus six? Um, not if you stop and shoot, no. Well, I'm going to stop and shoot. Yeah, okay. I mean, when you're running at full uh, sprint and trying to fire, Makes sense. yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, you guys heard him say that as well. Twenty. Okay, you're shooting at the guy? 
at the at the dude who just held. Pepper. Okay, um, it hits. The crossbow flies between the riggings and slams him for eight points of damage. Okay, the crossbow thuds into his shoulder. He like grabs it in pain, and he's like, "They're like, they're attacking." He goes, J- "Just go, just go." Well, I'm gonna start chasing again. All right. I mean. Well, the boat begins to transverse out. Um, okay. It is possible at this point for either of you to run and leap and land on the side or the back of the boat if you wish to attempt such a thing. Go, Vatslar! This is going to be awesome. If you miss, of course, you will go splash in the river. If you roll a one, it maybe you'll impale your head on How the side. How deep of is the river? Um, you really don't know, do you? Because it's yeah. dark, you can't see. <laughs> Um. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Just do it. No, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm honestly gonna tend to Piper. I mean, she's held, so I'm gonna. I'm not gonna make that risk. I mean, how far would I have to jump? Um, right now it's about a 15 foot jump with a yeah, full. I'm not, I'm not stupid. Well, I mean, with a full sprint, <laughs> with a full sprint, um. You know, and you're kind of like leaping off the edge and just trying to grab the boat. So, I mean, it's possible. I mean, you're not going to land on the boat feet first, but, you know, this is one of those dive and grab sort of scenarios. So if I, um, like, push Piper as I run, will it break her out of her whole person? Possibly, if you slap her or something. But I mean, you got you got this little got slap on the butt. right there behind All you. All right, yeah, I guess I guess I'll what let that I'm go. What are you gonna be doing? Ah, <laughs> uh, do it, do it. Do All right, it. Uh, fuck it. If I die, I die. I'm doing it. If die. you die, <laughs> I'm the gonna most, drown. You're gonna the be like heinous, five feet from the shore. I'm sure you can make it. <laughs> the <back>. most heinous <laughs> villain that that Veslar Noloth has ever faced. Is in oh, fact water the river. Monster. <laughs> the river monster. Yeah, so I'm doing it. I'm jumping. All right, go for it. Let's see how you do. Oh God! Oh no! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I dropped my cro- I dropped my bow, uh, my bolt, my crossbow on the waterfront um, before I make that jump. Was that a 19? Yeah, I got rolled a 20. Oh, I'm only, I'm seeing oh, a 19, 19 plus one. It's a 20. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes. Okay. So yeah, you you leap through the air, letting go of your crossbow as you do so. Both hands firmly grab the back of the vessel, and your feet like plant hard and firm against the side of the boat. Right. <laughs> what? Ah. Uh... <laughs> So what do you want to do now? Just hang there? <laughs> well, obviously I'm going to hoist myself. I was expecting he's a hang, He's hanging there like Marty what? in Back to the yeah. Future on the back of a, a car on a skateboard. No, I was waiting for a reaction. <laughs> I'm going to hoist myself up and say, you know, Doc, Doc now, you assholes. Okay, so you're <laughs> going to pull yourself up. All right, um, you get another willpower safe to try to negate. Thanks. Negate what? Oh. No, not you. You get a oh, ra- me. Yeah, e- each round you're under whole person, you get a chance to try to break it. Nope. Nope. All right, so you're currently still held. All right, so you clamber aboard the back of the vessel. Um, the like In shock, one of the sailors turns and sees you, and he goes, Look, 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 he's there! There's one there! The wounded, the guy with the bolt in his shoulder, he says, We don't want any trouble. You don't understand. Uh, so do as I say. Dock now. I'm he says, Who are sword. you? Are you part of the council? Do you work for the council? Are you part of the militia? Do you think any councilman will jump on your boat? Get a real doc Well, now. clearly you're not a council member, but do you work for the council? Answer yes or no, or I'll incinerate you uh, where you stand. Try incinerating me. I'll take you with me, sir. Doc, no. <laughs> All right. I can't, Are you using I can't any be... skill in any way? <laughs> I'm trying to, try to be intimidating, but I just I can't. Okay, I, then I don't make have an intimidation an check, and I'll give you a minus fifty because you suck. No. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and make intimidation. <laughs> <move>. <laughs> 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 I, I'm an ogre. <laughs> okay, 
he kind of he weighs up the distance between you at the back of the boat and him at the front and he says don't make me do this he says I don't wish you any harm as I said you don't understand but if you're in any way connected with the city this boat is not coming near the shore you'll have to come with us or get wet I'm gonna take a few steps forward alright he begins to cast spell craft check Okay, um, basically, um, he is about oh. to... Oh, I tried. So it's gonna... stubborn, best. Okay, um, <laughs> you recognize it as, like, some kind of wind-based offensive magic, but you're not exactly sure what. Okay, rather than hitting you with a fireball or something like that, he basically hits you with a powerful blast of wind. Um, you need do, to make a fortitude save to not be blown off the back of the ship. All right. So do I get my reflection for the day? Um, What is the distance that your reflection works? And technically, yes, you do. Um. Okay. Let me find that out for you. I well, had it in mind and then... Basically, is, Well, actually, is... is it an AOE attack? I guess that's what I need to know. No. So it's a directed thing. Okay, it's a direct so it... attack. Um, but he is 50 feet down the boat from you. So he's at the bow of it, and you're in the at, you know, right. you're the back. Starting at 7th level, uh, Witch Hunter is able to use the Arcania flowing through their veins to cause spells directed at them to rebound at the caster. <gasps> cool. Area effect or touch spells are not able to be reflected, which is why I asked. Right, okay. No, so, it doesn't have a distance, so it's okay, just Okay, there you automatic. go. So, yeah, so basically... <sighs> he casts it, you reflect it, and he has to make the saving throw against his own spell. <gasps> you dodgy, cool. dodgy witch, witch hunter is you. That's awesome. All right, we're going to make this, we're going to roll this for everybody to see. <laughs> if this I throw him overboard and he drowns, well, that that happens. <laughs> that would right, be interesting. Tenth level caster. So he is basically 1d20 plus. Okay, he's got 1d20 plus 15, but... He needs a 25. So, <laughs> all right, let's see. Ooh, 32. Okay. Um, he cast the spell. You do your little shimmy as the aura of Arcania bounces the thing back. It blasts him as you kind of see him duck his head and the wind's like... Whoosh, and like blast him and ruffles his hair and stuff like that as he grips himself in place and kind of glances up at you as the wind finally subsides and he's got a very concerned look on his face. Who he are says, you? Uh, funny enough, as you say that, he says, Who the hell are you? <laughs> so it's <laughs> we're both like, Who are you? Right. <laughs> he says... I'm somebody that has great concern about the evil that's going on here in this town. And, more importantly, the evil that will be spread to the capital if that ship was allowed to set sail. Now, who are you? I I will just say straight out, I am a witch hunter. Oh, dear. <laughs> so I'm sure you've already made assumptions and you've already drawn your own conclusions and you're not even willing to listen, are you? I said pull over. What better way? My friends are back there. I'm not going to leave them. We can talk. He says, yes, we can do that. I'll tell you what. He says, weigh anchor right here in the middle of the river. As they kind of float and drift. And they're kind of like, guess you know what you're doing. And they drop the anchor. Zug zug. He says, so, uh... <laughs> We can talk from here. Fine. He said, you stay back there on the bow. I'll stay up here. Or I'll stay up here on the bow. You stay back on the aft and we'll have a discussion, shall we? A civilized discussion. It's the stern in case you wanted to know. That's right. <laughs> he said, the one that doesn't... He goes, we'll have a civilized discussion that doesn't involve you trying to shoot me or... Well me doing arcane harm to you we could tr if you can try last spell didn't really work on you did it 
No. But there's more than one way to skin a witch hunter. Uh, I could say the same. <laughs> I mean, there's so, more than uh, one way to kill you, but okay. Let's let's be civil. Let's be civil. Um, if if I get an action, obviously, um, um you've, gonna... you've basically got about four actions that you can take during this. Time. Okay, so I want to run up alongside the boat, and I'm kind of looking, and I'm probably going to be yelling to Vessler like, "Are you okay?" Well, you've got a br- you've got you got four saving throws to make first. Okay. Well, Arya probably would have slapped her. In her yeah, but she still has to make a saving throw. <laughs> okay. Pip. Nope. Yeah, he he's no uh, he's no minor trickster. His whole person is pretty pretty reasonable. You pretty much have to roll a perfect 20, right? Uh, yeah, I do. With no, a 25 saving throw? Yep. It's 24, so uh, keep rolling, or? Yep, you got four rolls. Four, or? You go ahead and make all four rolls, yeah. <laughs> Jane. Oh, yeah? you get more health. still kind of out of it, if I remember correctly. Nope. Okay, yep, so you're still um, currently, until the duration runs out, you'll be making a oh. check every round. Okay, so... Um, but I mean, the boat has stopped. It's not that far from you guys. Okay, he says, So, I don't suppose you took very kindly to me uh, incinerating the royal barge? Uh, it's the first lead I've had all day. Lead? What do you know about it? I've been chasing an evil necromancer and his coven, if you want to call it that. Last hmm. pit stop was here. I don't know about any necromancers or covens I'm afraid well I say coven I know what coven means but I'm saying it just like yeah he says um, but I can tell you if you are a witch hunter this will be of interest to you that ship was infected infected with what someone infused its very timbers with a vile curse that would have affected everyone on board including the king's advisor He would, have t- um, he would have taken it to the capital, I'm sure, and possibly to the king himself. I had no choice but to destroy it. Uh, how do I know you didn't infect it? Well, you don't. And so we... But if I'd have infected it, why would I have felt the need to incinerate it? You got discovered, maybe? I don't know. No, I was... I was quite... I, mean, I saw you. I so. was quite able. He goes, "Well, oh, yes, you saw me, but the uh, the local militia didn't, did they?" I didn't intend to try to make a large spectacle of it. I just needed the ship to be destroyed. I made sure no one was on board, but it had to sink. And where? Okay, what's your name? First name only, if you want. Just I'll tell you my first name if you tell me yours. Uh, well, I'll give you my full name. My name is Casper Valen. Casper Valen. Yes. Well, my name is Veslar Noloth. Well, it is a reasonably pleasant to meet your acquaintance, depending, of course, what your next course of action might be. I'm just looking for the truth. Well, I've just given it to you. You can't handle the truth. (laughs) (laughs) You see, I saw a man board that vessel last night. I knew this. Um, And, well use my arcane ability to pry inside his mind. It wasn't very difficult. It was rather basic. After following him, well, I noticed he poured some kind of strange liquid onto the deck of the ship. He seemed rather simple and no more than a hired hand, but he cl- I clearly read the name Lawrenson. Well, Soren Lawrenson is a member of the council and far beyond accusation from a stranger such as myself with no tangible proof. So while I completely believe and I'm almost convinced that Mr. Lawrenson is up to no good and practicing unpleasant forms of magic, I have no way to prove it, but I didn't have time to attempt to convince anybody, so I sought the only course of action that I knew. Sink the bloody ship. And what what was your next course of action? Because Get it sounds like this Lawrenson, where would you go? Continue down the river. Uh, have you noticed the moon recently? Yes. Uh, what does that make? How does that make you feel? Well, quite honestly, it's rather disturbing, isn't it? So you. I've think also that just... noticed that there's been a strange. It's had a strange effect on some of my spells that I've cast. Oh. Yes. 
sometimes what I want them to do isn't always what they do. I so, find I have to concentrate extra diff or extra stringently to get the correct results. It's almost as if some kind of outside influence is trying to corrupt the spells that I cast and make them, well, more unpleasant versions of themselves. See, that worries me only in so far that you held my friend back there and I you almost have... tried to blow me over this <laughs> Believe me, I, me I'm capable boat. of much more damaging and destructive <laughs> spells than that. And if I'd have wanted to blow you, I could have done. No, um. And there we go. Oh, it's oh sure dear, dear. I'm oh sorry. Dear. I... Where did that just go? What a I... tangent. <laughs> Word choice. I was trying to. I... Okay. You have an arrow in your shoulder, okay? <laughs> your concentration can't be that good. So, you know. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm sorry, he says, guys. Yes, he said, uh, I did my you best You could have to... killed me, essentially. I could have done, and I could have I could have tried to kill her. I didn't. <laughs> I don't wish to do any harm to anybody. I'm My inten my motivations and intentions are purely honorable. So you're just, you were just going to flee here. Exactly. And never look back. Exactly. Knowing, not knowing what I know, that this is a horrible situation we're in. These necromancers are playing with dark magic. They're messing with, apparently, your magic. And the danger is far and wide much greater than this shitty, nice town. And, you know, yeah. this this is indeed a disturbing thing to hear. Um, I didn't realize it went much beyond Lusco, to be honest. Well, it did. It really, it, thanks it, for the follow. It hit, it hit several other places, uh, which has been the extent of my travels. Um, well, for my, for my part in this, I saw a wrongdoing, I reacted to it and did the best I could to protect the capital and the king, but I'm no crusader, I'm not about to try to discover the, you know, the malcontent here inside this, and as I said, Mr. Lawrenson is a high-ranking member of the council, with no proof, if I'd have gone to the council and said, Oh, this man's a practicer of vile necromancy or vile magic, they'd have laughed me out. Well, not with... Not and if then, we did course, it together. of course, he would have been aware. The next thing I know, I'm sure my throat would have probably been slit in the night, or worse. Look, my friend back there that you held is more than capable of dealing with puny councilmen. And well, you and I together it. are more than capable of dealing He's with that asshole, too. not just a councilman, is he? <sighs> together we can enact the justice that's required and stop the plan that's happening to this town without well, a fall. They're not just going to stop because he, they, you foiled the infection of the boat. They're going to continue. They're going to try again. Well, as a witch hunter, that's your problem. I'm not going to make it my problem. I've done the one good deed that was staring me in the face because my conscience wouldn't have let me to walk away knowing that that ship was about to set sail. Then for the you're capital. a coward if you're just going to leave. This is going to happen again. Well, and you're going to just run away. You can call me a coward if you wish. I just um, did. That's fair enough. <laughs> I've happily given you the information that I have, but I have no intention of getting involved in these kind of politics. Doesn't seem very concerning for the king. You're. You don't seem to be concerned for the king after all. You're just going to up and run after blowing up a boat. Well, excuse me for saying, but I really have no interest in consorting with a witch hunter. I know full well what your kind thinks of my kind. And despite the <laughs> fact that I'm trying to use my magics in the most honorable yet self-preserving way that I can... I would think it's only a matter of time before you'll be tapping on my door. So, the self-preserving part of me... I have much more pressing issues at hand to care about you. Well, then I, I bid you good day and wish you well and hope that you can solve the problems here in this town. I've done part of the work for you. You'll have to do the rest. <sighs> That's a shame. If what you said is true... Which I still don't even believe. He says, let's be honest. If I was to work with you, 
as soon as I started casting spells and doing things that you didn't cons that you didn't approve of, you'd be frowning at me, and the next thing I know, I would even if I'm not on your radar today, I would be tomorrow. Well, if I go back into town and find that everything you've told me is a lie, you will be on my radar much quicker. Well, that's fine, because I know it isn't. Of course, the more you stand here on this ship talking to me, the more Mr. Lawrenson is aware, probably, that his plan has been foiled and he's going to be looking for the architect of who did it. Well, we could throw a line overboard, so if anyone looked over, they'd think we're just fishing. So we can continue our talking. Yes, I have a feeling that he is going to be more capable of figuring out what's going on than just purely using his eyes. Well, all right, Casper Velen, I have your name, and I know where this river goes. So, how about you well? steer me towards the shore, and I'll get off. Fine. Let this man off. So they, they, they take the boat to the shore. That makes like, no it sense up. that whole time. Oh, jeez. <laughs> he says, truly, I, I hope that you do manage to find and bring this Lawrenson fellow to justice. Um, maybe you have the pull that I don't. But Maybe you'll find the courage that you don't. <laughs> well, that's... Maybe so. I personally find that uh, the sense of self-preservation sometimes goes a little bit beyond foolish courage. Trust me, I don't consider myself a courageous man. I do consider myself a careful and sensible man. I'm going to get off the boat and just, like, shake my head. Alrighty, well as soon as they more, kinda... more at myself than what I said than <laughs> As soon as you else. get off the boat, they immediately start drifting off and continuing down the river. Lock rhythm, thanks for the follow. Alright, um by now, whether you so succeeded bad. or not, or failed or not, um your whole person spell will have worn out. So you're you're good now. Yay! Okay, I so yeah, you, you can see Veslar trudging his way down the riverbank, shaking his head. <laughs> Head shoulder slumped, head bowed, just like. Um, just as he's coming up, the fence that's along um, the bank here. How how like is it tall? Can we climb over it, or do we have to kind of walk? Uh, back? It's like a it's like a palisade wall. It's about um, eight foot tall. It's like a log. I mean, you could climb over it if you wanted to. But um, I'm just thinking. I mean, it's not, not easily. You can't just hop over it. But I mean, yeah, with a. But someone giving you a push up with their hand or whatever, you could get over there. I don't know if we want to go back to the burning ship or not, but just an idea. All right, Vess, are you okay? I don't. I don't even Viper. I, what I happened? Vess and magic users always go well. I made Vessel, less sense up. talking to that. Okay, Arya, stop. <laughs> Piper, I made less sense talking to that man than I, I think I've ever done before. I mean, you know how I bumble and mumble and oh, yeah. stutter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I was all over the place. I honestly, should have. Uh, whatever, I'm done. Well, did you find anything I need else? A drink. Out? Why did you let him go? Well, I'm on the I'm on a boat in the middle of a river with a guy who's very I'm talented and magic. With my flippy floppy. That's <laughs> <laughs> horrible. I was just gonna say, did you have your flippy floppies? Yeah, I did have my flippy floppies. Um. It's just, long story short, he gave me some information about what's been going on in this town. Uh, he gave me his name, which we all know could be a lie, but I wasn't in an advantageous situation on that boat, so I just, you know, amicably got dropped off. Okay, so... Uh, there's a council member by the name of Lawrenson. Apparently he asked one of his associates or something to spread some curse or disease on the boat, which is what our friend Casper Valen destroyed today. Or this evening. And that's why he says he blew up the boat. So there's a corrupt councilman. And we have to deal with him. There's always a corrupt council mother. Yeah. Well, we can, well, well, we corrupt, uh, Oh, Arya. That's cynical of you. <laughs> <sighs> I've had my fair share of... Councilman? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what the other necromancer was doing. He was burning the entire town down in the last place because it was corrupt. Arya, after you say that, Arya just shuts, shuts up and looks down. <laughs> okay, so what do you guys want to do with this newfound knowledge? 
Joel, do you think it's wise we go back to the boat, or should we try and climb this, scale this fence, and maybe learn more about this Lawrence and fellow? I think we need to find out right. about both. Are you ready for me to snoop? <laughs> snoop, you, snoop, snoop, snoop. You I, snoop. I'm, apparently I'm great with can- councilmen, so. Yeah, right. <laughs> the councilman's guy's name is Lawrence, and we need to find out if he is indeed dirty or guilty. <laughs> You know what I mean. I I know I'm dirty because I haven't bathed since forever. So I'm going to go back to the end and take a bath. He's clearly a Democrat. (laughs) (laughs) Ooh. (laughs) But um, All right. Yeah, so I'm going back to the end to bathe and put on my hat. Okay, so which (laughs) method are we... Are you going down the river and round by the boat or are you going to hock it over the fence? Hopping it over the fence is what I'm doing. I think that's probably a better plan. All right. Well, I'm not going to make you guys roll because you're not under any duress, and sooner or later you will succeed, so you manage to navigate. Arya is under a bit of duress, feeling very embarrassed. (laughs) Okay, so where do you guys wish to go? Um, Is there some kind of councilman? uh, like a? Well, I mean, this right here is the town hall, the council chambers. Town hall, yeah. Um, but of course, I mean, it's late. At, it's late at night, so. Well, if I recall, we have an appointment to meet the dude whose ship that was. Yes. Tomorrow? Th- no, it was three days. Ah, so in two so days. So two days time. Yeah. So that was the royal, I the royal some, advisor for Luster. I can look around if you want. Lawrenson. 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 I look at Piper and I say, "Look, I'm going." To the end, and I'm gonna clean myself up. And... Let me do this. Still crazy. It's like, Thanks for it's the follow. It's like night time, right? I mean, it's yeah. It's it's light. It's uh, it's late. It's late. So yeah, I'm gonna rest. That's my plan. Okay, so Vess is going back to the tavern. Um, maybe. Uh, we should just go hang out in the inn and just kind of keep our ears open. Okay. And Arya. It's late. I'm gonna suggest Arya comes with me. But okay. Yeah, I know they're gonna be interrogating the people that were down around the boat, and we don't want to be involved in that right now, Arya. We just need to keep yeah. our ears open. All right. So you guys are all heading it- into the tavern. Here you go. Let's move you into the tavern. Um, it's Arnold over there. Blah blah. Okay. Um. Let me tune up the correct music for this evening. Oh, we're gonna get more burps. Nice. Uh, I'm sure. <laughs> no, I think I'm gonna use. I think I'm gonna use the other one. <laughs> the less distracting, less burpy Burp one. Pipe. In ambience I'm, and chatter. There you go. I'm going actually upstairs. there's no um, music being played, so I'm just gonna go for this one. Okay. So yeah. So I immediately go upstairs to bathe and relax and put on my hat. That's what I do. Right, yeah, because you've been hatless for the last day or so. I feel very naked. Wink, <laughs> wink, chat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Piper has made her way to the corner. Yes. Um, Aria is standing there um, awkwardly go next to, to the, the big muscle bound doorman. <laughs> she's going to go up to the barkeep. Okay. Excuse me. Oh, barkeep? Yeah. hello. What can hello. I do for you, my dear? I'm looking for Councilman Lawrenson. Oh, you won't find him in here, miss. What do you mean? Oh, he's a bit of a fuddy daddy. Doesn't socialize. Oh, doesn't socialize very well. Fuddy doesn't daddy? drink. Yes, he's quite, quite the recluse, to be honest. Well, what does he like? He likes boys. No, um. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Back pass pun. Oh um, he says, well, um. Make a diplomacy check for me, if you will. Okay. Uh, diplomacy. There it is. Be the diplomat that you always wanted to be. Oops. <coughs> Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay, he says, Well, uh, I happen to know that he is, um very fond of a certain South Seas rum that I have in stock. 
Ooh. If you'd like to purchase a bottle. I would be highly interested. If you're looking for a gift for him. I am. Excellent. I have a bottle right here, and he reaches down underneath the counter, pulls it out. It's kind of dusty. Is he... <sighs> Dust it all off. He says, uh, here you go. I can sell you this for um, five gold pieces. How about three, and we have ourselves a deal? Well, uh, you have a very pretty smile, so I suppose I can go to four. Oh, that's so kind of you. I'll do it for three, if that's okay. <laughs> it says, well, um... <laughs> I've only got the one, you see, and... Well, it, it, it might be, uh, might be something... That somebody else would be more interested in making a good impression with the councilman that would be willing to pay five. So, my, my offer of compromise at four still stands, if you're interested. But three is just a little, little too, all right. How little, about a little too thin for my I blood. I pull out three gold pieces and um, five silver pieces. He says, "You're really gonna haggle this down to the last coin, aren't you?" Fine. This is all I have. Fine. But um, you perform tonight. But whatever the take is, comes to me instead of you. Sure. Uh, I made. 11 copper last night. Oh, well, play better then. <laughs> I'll do my best. Now, can you tell me where Lawrence lives, please? Um, well, I could, but, uh, <laughs> for five gold. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm contemplating that uh, that knowledge would, in fact, cost you five silver. Um, I bet it would probably take a lot of uh, silver to repair oh, the windows more, in this the place. What? what did you just say to me? What? <laughs> Nothing, just making a joke. Uh, um, I assume it would be, because uh, the cosmetic reconstruction on your face would probably be a lot more costly if I had to summon my friend over there at the back of the bar. This is uh, all natural, and I don't want to disturb that. So He says, then I, I think give the, you the five rest of silver the five would be silver. more than a fair <sighs> price to preserve your good looks, my dear. Well, thank you for the compliment. Now I know you think I'm charming and pretty. Oh, I do, but I'm unfortunately uh, a silvers. capitalist and I believe in money. I'm here to make a profit. <laughs> I know you are. Can so, I hear any of this <laughs> from where I am? Um, probably. <laughs> Information, please, sir. Yes, well, um, if you leave the tavern... Yes? Um, cross the street, you'll see what appears to be a, uh amalgamation of buildings. It's actually two or three chambers of some of the councilmen all combined. His is the larger of the three. Gotcha. Thank you, sir. Oh, not at all. And, uh, don't tell him where you got that brandy from, please. I mean, that rum from. Why not? Because I'd rather he didn't know. I don't Why like the man. He, uh, he sent someone over here yesterday inquiring about a bottle and I told him we didn't have any. I see. If you suddenly oh. tell him that you got it from me, he's going to know that I, uh... For five silver, I won't say a thing. <laughs> For five silver. <laughs> no metagaming, you vile creatures. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll say thank you and go find, um, Piper. Okay, well, he hands you your bottle. And I basically relay all this information saying, you know, I can attempt to get him drunk at some point, so... Like, what do we want to do with this man, exactly? We want to question him, right? I think we should come up with a plan first, because just all of a sudden having this random interest in him is suspicious and therefore suspect, so... You need a reason for me to be there. Mm hmm So maybe we should take some time to gather a little more information, a little more stealthily about him, and... Maybe it will give us a reason why we would want to speak with him. So during this time, Veslar is finally clean. Yay! I'm gonna I'm gonna trim too. You know, <laughs> no longer <laughs> uh, manscape like manscape. you used to. You foul, foul creature. I don't stink. You know, I'm washing some of the clothes as well. You know, the undergarments and stuff. <laughs> Putting it on clothespins on a line in my room. There so you go. Air dry. 
Righty ho. Best Lord domesticate hype. There you go, right? Bring, bring, him, bring him into the fold. Teach him how to cleanse. I think it was dumb. Instead of I'm cleansing just... dark magic, just remember to cleanse your pits. Mm, classic gore. Uh, Mr. Just... Mr. Onion. I'm going to go to bed. I mean, really, like it's late. I'm All tired. Right. Well, that's the perfect time for us to take our first break.